Hey guys, Shimbo Evan here, and today is episode 1 of my awesome private server Clash of the Clan attacks. And today, what I'm doing is I'm going to be testing out the Go Wipe strategy, but I kind of tweaked it a little bit to kind of suit it for level 40 heroes and a lot of really cool maxed out pretty much every single possible thing I have maxed out. So it's going to be definitely really cool, and we'll see how it goes. So, we're going to be writing some really, really overpowered single player bases. As you guys can see, these are kind of like modded single player bases that make the game a little bit more fun. So, let's go ahead and just start this off. I want to send pretty much two of them in there to get rid of that wall. Hopefully they do. Yes, they did. Perfect. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do, guys, is we're going to do just a small, in a way, like a cleanup crew with a few of my troops on the sides because we do have to get rid of the sides. But at the exact same time, we have to go to the middle. Uh, I can't aim for that wall right now, guys, because that would really affect my pretty much... Uh, that would like affect my wall breakers and those guys would easily snipe it So I'm gonna kind of in a way aim for a few different walls than you expect Just so I can just get in the corners in certain spots trying to hope that they go uh, Through the middle so come on go in the middle go in the middle go in the middle No, they are not going through the middle unfortunately. Let's just go ahead and pop that freeze spell there get rid of all all pretty much of that uh, Infernal damage in the middle and then I'll go ahead and that's drying up so I'll throw it down again um, so pretty much right here, guys, we got our queen attacking now the other queen right over there. So hopefully the queen kind of cuts into the middle. I really don't know what I'm going to find with the queen. So I'm just going to go ahead and activate my barbarians, uh, my barbarian king's ability so that they can go in here, uh, that he can, like, go and fight that in a way. So now we got our queen who really did something really good. She actually got rid of the one important thing that we had to get rid of that was the, um, Pretty much the spell right there, and hopefully she cuts into the middle a little bit. She's starting to, I guess. Uh, yes, she did. She did. Yes, we got this. We're getting the town hall. Awesome, guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of like cut into the sides. We got a little bit of tankers over here. Our barbarian did die, unfortunately. Um, and we don't have that big, like, of a tanker, uh, like, we don't have that many tankers anymore to do anything, unfortunately. But our queen should be starting to, like, cut through to that side, which is good. Hopefully she starts going, uh, the way to that archer, and it doesn't look like it. Come on, cut to the archer, go to the archer, cut to that archer. Yes, she did it, perfect. Now she's going this way, unfortunately, so she is gonna die. But we do have a lot of troops here, and we do have some archers coming in, but I think those are going to be peeled off. So I guess we have to, of course, end it at 69%. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and train a few more troops, guys. Uh, we're going to try out pretty much the exact same strategy, but I'm going to change up a little more things. Um, this time, guys, I'm going to do relatively the exact same thing, but I will be adding uh, some witches instead of the P.E.K.K.A.s, because I want these witches to pretty much um, like do damage from the back or whatever. And, yeah, I'll just go ahead and create some spells. So, we'll go ahead and take, like, a spell list of this. I kind of want to change up our spells this time. And let's go ahead and do another attack. So, for this attack, guys, um, I'm going to try to do pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, but I'm going to send them back over here. What's really good is now I can go ahead and pretty much put all my witches in here. And there's, like, a ton of skeletons that are spawning, which are now clearing out the sides, which is really good. And then after they do clear out the sides, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much spawn on my king. There we go. King goes in. Queen goes in. And they should just rip out the sides. Yep, now they're cutting into the middle, which is good. And once they cut into the middle, that's going to help a lot because that's going to get rid of uh, pretty much anything from attacking the witches in a way. So that... They now the, like the all the troops can go in and now I'm gonna go ahead and activate my jump spell and then the stun spell right over here. So now we got all our troops cutting into here. So I'll go ahead and activate my barbarians, my barbarians ability, and throw another stun uh, freeze spell in there just so I can pretty much clear up everything. And now our troops are going in. So heal spell in the middle so that they can just help them out a little bit there. And now we got our queen cutting into the side over here, and we got some troops coming over to here. What's really good is the barbarians actually came back, and all our witches are going this way, while our barbar, uh, while our archers going this way. So it's in a way it's like split pushing, but they're doing it really, really well. And also we still have our archer queen's ability left over, which is really, really good. So that is definitely going to be really, really good for fighting. So now our archer queen's just simply clearing that structure right over there. Uh, we do have to get rid of that archer tower, so hopefully our archer queen does that soon because i will have to pop her ability uh so 
Hopefully she does that right now. Yes, she is doing it. Uh, I may have to pop her ability right now. Yes, I did. I did have to pop it. What's really good is now she's just simply one-shotting the defenses, which is really, really nice. So that should be done soon. Uh, on this side, they're still pushing really, really good, which I really like. Uh, that person's pretty much getting targeted right there. And at the exact same time, uh, the skeletons are fighting in, which is really good. Unfortunately, the what's it called? The witches are getting sniped, but that is okay because now they, uh, well, they're getting sniped. Uh, pretty much, uh, the golems are pushing in, so that is that's not that bad. Uh, our archer queen is kind of dying back here, but what's really good is they're attacking pretty much the golems right now, and the golems have a lot of life, so they aren't actually attacking the archer queen, she has some archers in front of her, so those will soak up a little bit of damage before she gets attacked. Uh, unfortunately, we do have this expo over here that's delivering a lot of damage, unfortunately, and our archer queen is really, really low in health. Once she's out of the game, unfortunately, we're probably out of the game too, so we're at 82% now, guys. 83, now, they're get now she's getting rid of that tesla right over there. Um... And pretty much she's ripping down all the defenses. Hopefully there's not another giant bomb there. If there is, we're in big trouble. Uh, I think there is, yes, and Archer Queen is out of the game. So now we have one more uh, Archer who helps us a lot. And unfortunately, we have to end that because now it is pretty much useless. Hopefully that guy can maybe explode he and do something. Unfortunately, he couldn't really do much. He could just get that wall. So, yeah, I'm going to try out one more guy, guys. This time and edit out, uh, like edit a little bit more so this time I'm gonna try to use in a way uh, it's gonna be relatively the same in terms of spells but I'm gonna edit this combo a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much get all the golems right over here one witch and then we're gonna get two pekkas sorry one pekka and then I believe we'll go ahead and get one of these guys and then we'll go back here and get there we go, those guys, and then we'll get one. Uh, we'll get one goblin for fun. Why not? Okay, so now let's go ahead and raid this again. Uh, so for this strategy, guys, what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the goblin as bait, and then we're gonna go ahead and pretty much blow this up at the exact same time. Yep, perfect worked. Awesome strategy. Now we can send our troops in without them soaking too much damage at the beginning of the game. So that was really smart to do. Um, now what I'm going to do, guys, is send in our P.E.K.K.A., who's going to try to, like, hit the, uh, sides of the damage or whatever, like, do some damage on the sides, and then after the P.E.K.K.A. does the damage, uh, the P.E.K.K.A. should be cutting into the middle really, really momentarily. Uh, at the exact same time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and send two, uh, pretty much, uh, wall breakers to blow up that part of the wall, and then we'll go ahead and send in our Archer Queen. So Archer Queen should now cut to the middle. Nope, she's going on the side. All right. Um, so now we'll go ahead and activate this spell, throw in that, and now what should happen is, uh, the jump spell should help them out, so they should cut into the middle, that's what I'm hoping for, um, that they actually cut into the middle, uh, doesn't look like it, uh, they aren't, aren't cutting in the middle, unfortunately, um, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go ahead and activate our heal spell over here to heal up these troops, and then our Archer Queen's jumping in, which is really good. So hopefully she jumps in really soon. So we'll activate that spell on her. And now she should be dying soon. So we'll go ahead and activate this spell so that she pretty much wipes out these troops really fast. There we go. She got out the Town Hall. So we're at 45% right now, guys. Um, so now we got rid of their Barbarian King, which is good. I'll activate the Barbarian King's effect right now so that he can do a little bit of pushing inside there. So they're pushing inside that side, which is pretty good. Uh, we got a tankers everywhere, which is not that bad, like tanking as much as they possibly can. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of tankers, but we did manage to get 52%, which was definitely really good. Um, of course, guys, this raid was a little bit hard to do because we just had all the troops going this way. Well, they're getting targeted by the, the Inferno Towers, which kind of wrecked it. If they do go more in the middle, I really shouldn't have activated that. I should have tried to get them to the middle. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to try to get one over there, a little bit over there, and then 
to wipe out the middle, but we kind of did do it. We did get 53%, guys, and this is a hard base to raid. raid. It's not it's not super easy to raid, guys, so yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more of the series, and you want me to explore other different type of combinations and show you some of my own, make sure to smack that like button, and if you really like this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and make sure to apply to the Jim Wolven Craft Network for a 70% revenue share, but that's to me, guys. This has been Jim Wolven, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.